Yeah, we're excited. Uh, excited about the start. Um, you know, have a have a core group of guys that are returning. Uh, only lost three players that played a bunch last year. So uh, we're excited about the season. Uh, kids are working hard in practice and uh, really looking forward to, uh, to getting a chance to get out there on November 8th and, and start playing games and see where we're at. Well, we return three starters, uh, return our whole front court, but the three starters that return are Darren Goodson, uh, Mark Henniger, who's a four-year kid here, uh, and Chris Brewer, who's a junior. Uh, you know, those guys have sort of led the way for us in practice uh, throughout, the, throughout the season. Um, we have a bunch of newcomers as well. Uh, Derek Jackson, who played in this league a couple years back uh, and sat out last year to focus on his academics. Uh, he's been great. He's been great. And then we've had a couple other new guys that have contributed here and there. Uh, K.K. Simmons is a transfer uh, from UNC Wilmington. Uh, he's had some really, really good moments, uh, as has a young man named Devin Carter, who's a sophomore. Uh, who transferred here from Lakeland Junior College uh, with our two open spots on the perimeter. Uh, all of those perimeter guys are going to help us. Yeah, yeah the non-conference schedule is going to be difficult. It's going to be a challenge. Uh, we open up November 8th at home. Uh, we play a non-Division non One team, uh, Ohio Northern, and then go back-to-back -back on the road at Temple, which will be on ESPN as part of their 24 hours of basketball tip-off marathon and at Seton Hall. Uh, those two games are certainly going to be a challenge for us, Seton Hall being in the Big East uh, and Temple being an NCAA tournament team. Overall, we play six teams in the non-conference that played in postseason. Uh, we play Youngstown State at home, which obviously as a local rivalry is big. Uh, Cleveland State at home, which as a local rivalry is big. Um, along with playing teams like Niagara, who won the MAAC last year. Uh, College of Charleston at College of Charleston, which is a a great program, Princeton at Princeton, which is always going to be a very difficult game. So overall, we're excited uh, about the schedule we put together. Uh, in total, we have 18 home games, which is great, and, uh, and it certainly should be a challenge for us.